When we finished Jackass 2, the very ending of the movie, Dunn and I were attached um, with ropes around our feet, and a horse was going to come by full speed and just rip us out. Dunn landed really wrong and messed his shoulder up and wound up getting a blood clot. It was really scary. It was scary to all of us because, you know, we don't think about that stuff. And then, you know, blood clot is really dangerous because if a chunk of that went into his heart or into his brain, he would die. I've never seen a man more scared in my life. I mean, that was, they literally took him from a checkup at his physician straight to the hospital and told him, hey, man, you could die any minute, you know? And it was, they, he, he had the fear of God put in him. It was pretty dire, I mean, like what was going on with him. So he had to be on all kinds of, um, I think, um, you know, these clot-busting drugs and, and things like that, and it really kind of put him into a, a funk. Jackass 2, behind the scenes, take 3. You got it done. Almost done. Ugh. Um, what? I sense the excitement. I'm, I'm on medication. The last thing I need can be thinking about right now is. Are you hurting? Oh God, you don't even understand. Are you sick? Yeah. Blood clot, nerve damage. All because of this garbage. So shoot. I just put two needles in my body. That was fun. Got to go do some more. So let's shoot. Here's interview. <laughs> So not only did he have this blood clot, but he had Lyme disease. That, that's something that sort of just makes you miserable, takes all your energy out. And he went from this, you know, fearless immortal to a, a guy that was giving himself shots every day just to remain upright. Being frightened and hurt, he's kind of withdrew into, it, well, at least away from us. You know, he wasn't there for 24-hour takeover or 2.5, and I didn't like him not being around. None of us did. He went in, like, this really dark place for two years and, uh, you know, didn't want to be on film anymore, didn't think that he was funny. Even with, with us guys that, you know, lived down the street or lived with him or, you know, saw him every day, he... he I guess he became kind of a recluse. I remember going to a Chinese restaurant, and we came walking out, and fans were running up to him and saying, you know, you, you're Ryan Dunn from Jackass. And it's the only time I ever saw in all the years that he was involved in anything. He said, no, I get that a lot. What especially moved me at the time, and even more so now, is just the way he talked about Angie, his, his girlfriend of 10 years, and how she stayed, stuck through and through all that, and how he was sort of amazing, he, you know, in his sort of classic Ryan self-deprecating way, he would just, you know, he's like, what is a woman like that doing with a piece of like me? I don't know, but just so grateful that she was in his life. That's the one thing that I know that if there, if, if Ryan's thinking of anything, that's the main thing he's thinking is how much, how much he misses Angie. She's just so strong and she's funny and she's beautiful and she got Ryan and she thought she was he was sexy with that disgusting beard. That's Angie, your girlfriend's no, face. Yeah. She made a stupid face. I took a photo, so when she was out of town, I got a tattoo. Oh my god. Angie is beautiful, but that <laughs> picture really doesn't do her justice. No. no. <laughs> when he introduced Angie and I was like, What? How the to this guy get this chip. And then I was like, well, all right, so he's famous and he's on TV. And then he's like, no, no, this was even before, yeah. before Jackass. Yeah. We had a lot of questions about that. That kind of blew our minds. I, I, I still, I still can't believe no. it. No. But he's a handsome guy, he's, you know? He's very handsome. He's very handsome, but. He, did, he was always talking about how small his little penis yeah. was, though. What did he say? He said it looked he like. He once referred to yeah. uh, his penis as a, a button in a fur coat. <laughs> Which we loved so much that we wrote that into our television show. It sucks. With, with Dunn gone, I think I now have the smallest penis on the Jackass cast.
So Ryan had completely disappeared from us. You know, I hadn't talked to him in two years. And then in spring of 2009, uh, we went to Bam's house to shoot for Nitro Circus. Ryan, I guess, had been just coming out of his cave a little bit. And uh, we filmed with him, and it was just like not a, nothing had ever changed. You know, it was just awesome. Shortly after that, we decided to do uh, Jackass 3. You know, you could just see that he had come out of the fog. You know, it's just... And it was so clear and so fun to be around. Uh, I didn't want to do it at all, but once we started filming, I realized uh, immediately that uh, I was wrong. It was it was an awesome experience. I actually had more fun on this than I did on all previous endeavors we had had. Uh, I laughed from beginning to end. I really did. And now I have new friendships because I really didn't like anybody. And now I like a good 20%. Who would have thought? You're not in that. He went through that dark period, and he came out of it, and... Yeah, and... He was brilliant in the third one. He was a brilliant friend. The last couple years, like, he's been... I think just in a place where, you know, he was just really peaceful. I think he and Angie just were doing great, and I mean, like, he just really found out who he was. I love it here. I don't know about you guys. I am happy. A happy done. This is, is happy, me happy. Everybody. I like happy done. I did. If you guys weren't here, I'd be supremely happy. <laughs> And that's the weirdest thing. Like, people said to me, like, he was in such a good place that he was, like, almost ready to go or something, which, I mean, the guy's 34 years old, so that sounds stupid, but, I mean, he just seemed, like, very happy and satisfied with what he's done, and uh, for good reason, you know? That was one of the hardest things for me, or is one of the hardest things for me to accept, is that, on one hand, that makes me happy, to know that he was happy. But on the other hand, it's like, you know, why did it have to be so short? A mangled mess is all that is left of Ryan Dunn's car after an early morning accident on Route 322 and Pottstown Pike. There was some pretty high speed involved in this. The vehicle missed a turn, hit a guardrail, and went airborne and went through several trees, some sizable. So there was a very vicious collision involved in this thing. And now, friends and family are left stunned at how everything changed in a split second. There are stars so distant The light that left them ages ago just came into view twinkling we're seeing now maybe there's been rumors before on the internet about some of the cast dying or something so I I, I didn't think it was real that's the way yeah, I was in shock I I didn't believe it you know I'm still it still doesn't feel real I don't know if it's ever gonna really completely sink in part of me doesn't want it to but just so we know. I guess that's the way it's got to be. We've been doing this for so long, you know, like we're a family. God lets the light out, live the star. You know, to think that that's it. You know, we're not going to see him again. I wish he wouldn't always drive so fast. And he always did. I wish he wasn't drinking that night, too, you know? We lost him and Zach. You know, Zach Hartwell was also in that car. Sometimes when you have a larger-than-life personality who is in an accident, you only hear about the one person. But he was just such a happy guy, always that upbeat person. Ryan introduced us to Zach when we were um, filming number two. He was this gnarly military man, and then also just a fun, loving guy that could hang with a bunch of jackasses, you know? 
God lets the light out, live the star. There's such a hole in the family now. Jackass is really, it's never going to be the same. It's the worst thing ever. So many people around the world reached out, flooded our sight, you know, and they still do about Ryan. It was really sweet what the Kings of Leon guys did. Huge banners behind the stage and dedicated the song to him. Our good friend Ryan, rest in peace. I just hope Ryan would be remembered, not for, for some of the crazy things he did or shoving a car up his ass or, you know, or, or uh, in fact, he liked to drive fast. I hope he's remembered as the sum of all those things, is that he, he did all of them with passion. And, he lived and, life. He yeah. knew how to live life. He was such a good person, and I think he, uh, I think, you know, made, made me a little better person, just knowing him. Uh, that rubs off, <laughs> you know? I'm Ryan Dunn, and I'm gonna just, 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 let's just do it. This water is roughly about 32 degrees. I'm Ryan Dunn, and I'm gonna jump in it for your entertainment. You're watching Jackass. Oh God, it's cold. Dude, you got this. Nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, man. 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 Oh,